What's up, everybody? It's Meech. You're tuned into On The Radar, where we cover health, fitness, and tech. All right, so the last video I posted was regarding a black seed oil company, how they were scamming. They was using my likeness, using another brand to promote their oil. If you haven't seen the video, go watch it here first so you know exactly what's going on, and then come back and watch this video so you'll be caught up to speed. Now, I said what I said. I put out that information, and they reached out to me. So I want to read you what the owner said in this comment. So they left a comment in the comment section of that video, and they also emailed me, the same person. I'm not going to get into the email. I did respond to them. I'm waiting for their response back. But I will get into, into the comment since it was a public, you know, it was posted publicly. So he says, this is Abdullah Naki. He says he's the owner. I hope I'm saying your last name right. He says, hi, I'm the owner of the Blessed Seed, and I'm most amazed to see what has happened. I was aware of your strike, and I complained to our YouTube manager how he could do that without asking you first. As for using Bionatal in our Google ads, that is awful, and I need to find out who was managing our ads to do such a thing. Do you have the date that was used so I know who is directly responsible? As for the strength of one batch, which our supplier sent that was not as strong as normal, this was a supplier problem, but I need to take responsibility. The analysis was not so strong as normal, and that has tarnished our reputation. We were setting up our, we are setting up our own factory now, and this problem will hopefully never happen again. Although our factory will be mainly catering to our extra strong oil, which comes from Ethiopia, I have reprimanded our supplier, but he is only our supplier. We pray that it won't happen again. For those reading this, our main base is healing and we love honesty. And these practices are dishonest, and we will find out who wrote that in the ad. I have been leaving our marketing to another company, and after seeing the techniques I do not like, I realize that this is my company, and I have to be the head of marketing. Our apologies for those bad techniques, and we mean sincerely as we, I guess, tend to write, try to write this in the past. We pray that the Blessed Sea Oil will help you as it has helped many. So first and foremost, I want to salute to... Abdullah for reaching out and to clear up the situation and to take responsibility. Now, I, I, I want to, you know, be clear. I'm not here to call anybody a liar. I'm not here to discredit what this man is saying. I take this man at value being that, you know, he, he stood up, he reached out and he's trying to clear up this situation. But I do have to say from my point of view is I find it a little bit. It makes me wonder because I don't know how long this ad has had been running. And if one of my subscribers didn't alert me to their YouTube channel, you know, with them posting my video, I wouldn't have known that it was there. So it makes me wonder how long have these things been there and would they have addressed the issue had I not addressed the issue? So it just makes me wonder. And it's a little bit like I, I fully get as a, as an owner you may not know what's going on with your, your online, um, you know, ad campaigns, even though you should. I understand you leave it up to somebody else and you let it go. I, I get that part. Um, I also get you may not know what's going on on your YouTube, but at the end of the day, you are responsible for that. So you should know what's going on. Also, the same way I get people alerting me all the time about stuff that they come across regarding me that they think isn't right. And they bring it to my attention. I, I kind of find it hard that if this ad was running, that nobody saw this and brought it to his, his attention, whether it be somebody in the company or whether it be, um, you know, just a, a customer, you know. So with the YouTube thing, nobody probably would have really noticed the uh, maybe people in the company and they might have said, well, this might not be right. But, I, I, you know, I don't think any 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 customer would have been reading the description and been like, well, this isn't right. That's more something I would have picked up on. Um, but definitely as far as the ads running on Google, I'm pretty sure someone, it's hard for me to believe someone didn't bring this to his attention before it came to my attention. But like I said, he stepped up, he's taking responsibility and you know, I respect that. So it, it just is what it is. I, I'm a, I'm gonna just leave it at that. I, you know, they're, they're working on correcting these things and you know, I'll keep you guys posted on where the email goes. If we get anything else out of that. I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention to put that out there and let you guys know to follow up on what's going on. On a side note, I find it interesting that they always had three, three, three black seed oil potency levels. Now they have the extra strong. 
that they mentioned in their message. And it's extra strong when it comes from Ethiopia. So, <laughs> again, as I go to tell you, you know, BioNatal is, is the strongest. And I feel like everybody now, they're, they're trying to compete, which is cool. But it just, again, it goes to show you that, you know, what, I, what I've been saying about this product is, is the truth, and it's making other people want to want to step up and, and try to compete now. It's cool. We have to take the time and the effort to really think about what we're purchasing, what we're putting in our bodies, where this stuff comes from, how it's created. Like, I understand everybody doesn't have the time for all of that, and but it, it matters. It makes a difference, and it makes a difference what we're spending our money on. It makes a difference how these companies are, are conducting themselves. Now, no shade to... Bless see, but it makes me think like, okay, they said something about the batch was off and it wasn't as strong as normal and all that stuff. But here's my thing. I, it, I, I noticed it. I heard other people speaking about it and I've heard other, a lot more people speak about it with other companies that has been in, and this is coming from people who has been using black seed oil longer than me. They say, yeah, these things switch up. They change. I have a better understanding of why, because I always talk about, you know, the seeds, the regions and all, all that stuff. So I understand you're not always going to get the same batch if you're not using the same stuff consistently. But it makes me wonder if you're when you're marketing something from a standpoint of I have this, this and this, meaning like a, a, you're expecting a certain potency, you're expecting, you're expecting something that you're, you're used to because you're always purchasing this product. So if there's a switch in the in the specific batch, it makes me wonder, did they put this out to the social media? Did they, did they send their, their customers an email blast? Like how did, how were they reaching out to their customers to let them know? Or are they just trying to say, well, they won't notice it. We just got to ship this stuff off. We got to sell it and we'll fix it later. We hopefully they won't know or they won't complain. These are the things that we as consumers of anything have to start caring about and take notice of because this is the we're, we're we're trusting these companies on one hand, and then on the other hand, we're spending our hard-earned money on this stuff, and we expect what we expect. We expect the same quality, the same you know level of 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 quality every single time, and that's why we stay loyal to certain brands. That's why we trust this stuff to recommend it to our friends, to our family. We give it to our kids. We take it ourselves every day. This is what every product on the market that you buy. You need to have that 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 level of trust from these companies. And we have to start demanding that all across the board. And that's something that, you know, I can't do videos about everything and give you information about everything and dig deep into everything. But we all have to take it upon ourselves to just start caring enough and look into these things. It is important. This is our health. This is our lives. This is our the, like I said, the, this is what we're spending our hard earned, earned money on. This, these are the, the products and the brands that we trust, and we have to get that same trust and respect back from them. Another thing that I find interesting that I just want to touch on is that when you think about it, I've done tons of, of, of black seed oil videos, and I've done, you know, I've done reviews on, on, on the blessed seed, um, black seed oil. I've done reviews on amazing herbs. I've, I've done all that stuff. And there's tons of us on YouTube that has done reviews for all types of black seed oil brands. And I just find it interesting that they don't reach out to any of us unless it was these two times where I happened to say something negative about these brands. Then they reach out. And mind you, obviously, everything that I said was true. They reached out to try to rectify the situations. But it just makes me wonder, like, why does it take something like that for them to reach out when clearly us YouTubers especially, we're driving a lot of traffic and a lot of sales to these um, these companies. Now, granted, I understand that the, the extra argument could be, you know, they're not asking us for this promotion. We're choosing to do this. And I, I get that part. But when you're when when when. We're being so helpful to these companies. It makes me wonder, you know, <clears throat> why they don't reach out to try to do business, to try to just acknowledge us, to try to, um, you know, to, to provide information, like whatever it is, just to create some sort of contact. I think it would be a better business. Uh, it, it would just help. I'm going to leave it at that. Once again, I salute to Bless Seed for reaching out and trying to clear up this matter. And, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. Let's further this conversation in the comment section. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. 
please hit the like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something comes across my radar. Salute.